our next kit is called the White Bacopa Planter Kit. Now, these little white flowers are just something special. They are gorgeous. They're so pretty. Um, it's a training plant. It's a perennial, um, which means that it will live um, this year and then next year um, and possibly beyond. So it's a really sort of quite a rewarding plant. It's not just going to um, be a seasonal plant that dies off and then that's it. Um, hopefully you can plant it after you've had it in your um, container. You can either plant it in the garden or you can leave it and it should come back next year. So um, in your kit you will receive your um, three bacopa plants, you will receive your gravel, compost and moss and then a gorgeous, gorgeous 25, I know, 21 centimetre, sorry, planter and its matching saucer with its lovely sort of scallop detail around the rim. Um, it's a really versatile um, planter as, as I say with the others, um, you know, you can plant lots of different things in it. Um, but this I think is really something special and I really hope that you love these gorgeous little white plants. Okay, so let's start planting up. So we can add in the gravel first. Now, Bacopa um, is a relatively easy plant to look after. Um, it's an outdoor kit, so it will need to be kept in the garden. But the main thing is to make sure it's got good drainage, hence the gravel in your kit. Um, not to sort of water it too much, but it also doesn't like to dry out. Um, and then to deadhead the flowers when they go over. And that's about it. It will grow and trail um, and drape beautifully. Um, so yeah, once you've gone in with your gravel for the drainage, we can add in the layer of compost on top and then gently sort of push it down into the gravel. And then after watering your bacopas, you can now start planting. So gently take them out of their pot and then just simply pop them in your planter. Again, as I've just said with the herb planter, I like to sort of angle them out slightly so they're almost sort of, you know, angled out towards the sort of top of the plant, so they're not really upright. And then give me a second. And then the third plant. And then we simply just go in with more compost just to fill in the gaps um, in between each of the plants. So making sure you're sort of pushing it down, compacting it down. Now when you find that the flowers go brown, you simply just take them out. So for example, on this plant here, there's one just under here, and I've literally just pulled the actual white petals off and the little flower off. That will then encourage all the little buds that you'll be able to see to then bloom. So you'll get more from your plant. find that it will grow quite quickly and start to trail and they are really good plants for ground cover um, although most of the time they are put in sort of um, plants uh, pots that where they can trail over but they can be planted in the ground and they do um, sort of cover the ground quite quickly so that's what's beautiful about them is that you'll plant them up and then in quite a short space of time they will start to grow and trail um, but in the meantime, when you've got some um, compost showing before they sort of expand, you can then add in your moss. So there's three types as always. The flat moss, which is this one here. Then you've got the bun moss, which is the sort of chunkier green one. And then the sphagnum moss, which is the sort of two-tone moss here. So just adding in to hide the compost. 
for no other reason than aesthetics. So it's obviously completely up to you how much you use, if you use it at all. But I do think it sort of finishes the planting off really nicely. Okay. And there you have it. So just to recap on um, care for the buckeye planter. Um, deadhead, the little flowers when they go brown, like this one here, just take them off um, and that will encourage new growth. Um, keep it somewhere nice and sunny, um, water regularly, um, but don't let it sort of sit in water. So um, that's the good thing about the drainage that we have in our pots. Um, so yeah, don't let it dry out. Um, and that's about it, just really enjoy it. Um, it's beautiful on a table outside, um, lovely for a tablescape. Um, so yeah, hope you really enjoy this kit.